Developers have been asking for concise setup instructions for SSO. You're here for our enterprise SSO functionality. We hear you. Here's a quick live setup to show you how easy it is. I'm assuming you already have a self-serve deployment. Start by opening the console. Navigate to the Organizations tab on the left. Create an organization. In this case, set a domain when creating an organization that corresponds to the email domains you want to match to their SSO provider. Create a portal link by selecting it from the action menu of the organization. This is usually meant to be sent to the organization administrator, but in this case, we'll open this link in an incognito window and configure the identity provider ourselves. We'll use the identity provider wizard to set up an SSO connection to Azure AD. You can see this happening right now. Now I've sped this up a bit, but you'll get an idea of what's happening. If you want to learn how to use the, the identity provider wizard, that's in a different video. Depending on your setup and target identity provider, this will be different. Obviously, if you're using Okta or Auth0 or another one, it'll look a little bit different. Okay, the identity provider is set up. Now let's secure an application and use our new SSO connection to log in. For this purpose, we've got a debugging application on GitHub you can quickly use to see how a front-end application is secured and what data is shared between phase two and the application. Go back to the administrative console and navigate to the client tab. Create a new client, let's call it front-end. This will be a public OIDC client with localhost 3001 as the root and redirect URI. Get the keycloak JSON from the configuration <clears throat> and copy it. Paste it into the Keycloak JSON to configure your debug app. Before we continue, we need to configure authentication flow that does our SSO redirect. Navigate to the authentication tab and duplicate the browser flow. Add the home IDP discovery authenticator and move it into the position before the user forms. Configure it not to require a verified domain nor email. Finally, using the action menu on the upper right, bind it to the browser flow. Go back to the debug app and let's try logging in using an email domain that matches the one we configured. First, start the server and navigate to localhost 3001 in your browser. See that it redirects to the default login. Enter the email address in the new email only form. We are redirected to the Azure Identity Provider we set up. Log in to Azure, and then we are re redirected back to the debug app. Let's take a look at the token and see the data that came over from Azure. As a bonus, let's map some information about the user's organization memberships into the token in case we need to do something with that app information in our application. Go back to the admin UI and navigate to the client we created. Select the front end dedicated client scopes, add a mapper by configuration, select the organization role mapper and configure it. Save that configuration. Now let's go back to the debug app and reload. Take a look at the token. It now contains information about the organization we created in both the access token and ID token. The user was automatically created and added as a member of the organization when we logged in through the Azure Identity Provider. You now have a fully working authentication and enterprise SSO setup for your application. It took about five minutes.